Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Virtual Trombonist. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about uh, one of my favorite features of Logic Pro and GarageBand. And uh, it's also one of my favorite words I have come across lately. This is, of course, the Klopfgeist. And you may ask yourself, what the heck is a Klopfgeist? Well, it's just the, our good old metronome, and uh, also referred to as your click track or your click. And while it can be obvious in logic when we, we have the metronome up here in the control bar, but uh, sometimes it's not always easy to find the actual instrument and the plug-in and make adjustments to that. So I'm going to, in this short video, I'm going to show you uh, how to find it and what you can do with it. Um, so as you know, the K key turns the click on and off uh, as you're recording, if you want to do a, a key, key command shortcut for that. Um, and I couldn't figure out for the longest time why the K was chosen for the metronome or click until I realized, oh, K is for Klopfgeist. <laughs> so there you go, if you wondered about that. So the way to find the actual plugin is you have to go to your mixer view. And sorry, I'm on a laptop today. I've got to pull this pull this up a little bit um, so I can see it. And it's not here. So you have to go to the tabs here and select all so that you see all the channel strips in the mixer. And there we have uh, the click. And up here in the input, you will see uh, a plugin called the Klopfgeist. Here is where we have the details for how the click sounds. And while this may not seem like a big deal, uh, it can be depending on the types of instruments you're recording. Um, so let's listen a little bit to what the default setting uh, sounds like. Uh, it's a nice tonal click. Um, it has a higher pitched click on the downbeats of the measures. I left my project set on 4-4 four, four time, 120 beats a minute. Um, obviously, you can change that, and you can also change the click. So for me, as I'm recording trombone, if I have a click that sounds too low, it's kind of hard to hear. So the default click actually works real well. Uh, conversely, if you're, if you're playing drums or you have a higher-pitched instrument, you might want to go with a different sounding click. That one's, uh, it's called hard tick, and it definitely sounds like a hard tick. Um, you can also use, uh, they have a, uh, the tonal click is nice. And you can play with the uh, pitch of the, of the uh, click as well. And you can subtract tonality, you have a more tonal click, less tonal click. You can tune. Anyway, lots of cool stuff you can do with it. And then, as, uh, as in most of the plugin settings, uh, if you find something you really like, you can go in here, hit Save As, and have your own personal custom click, you know, set for your instrument, something that you can hear well and that's easy to use. So, that's it. We found the Klopfgeist, just what we've always been looking for. And... Um, if you have any comments uh, about how you use this tool, I would love to hear about it. I think it's a very helpful part of most uh, digital audio workstations today. Um, leave, me, leave me some comments and let me know uh, what you use it for. Uh, I'm going to do a few more videos in this series. I think there's a lot to explore with the, with the Klopfgeist, um, including how to record that to its own track so that you can uh, see it visually when you're when you're looking at your playbacks, and also how we uh, deal with time adjustments in our project after we've recorded that clock, guys. So, um, and there's there's a number of ways to do that. We'll we'll explore a couple different ways in a, in some future videos. So thank you all very much. If you haven't gone to virtualtrombonist.com, please do. You can see a little more about uh, who I am and what I'm doing here. And please subscribe. I send out uh, a moderate amount of content, and I try to not uh, spam everybody or waste anyone's time, but send out things that are useful for trombone players, brass players, music educators, 
Um, so give the website a look. Uh, hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you have, again, if you have comments about today's video, please uh, leave them below. I'll answer any questions I can. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.